What's up, Maka Lifestyle? JG here. Your your favorite uh, your favorite old man otaku. <laughs> I'm here with another episode review digest, and it's coming it's coming to you right now. So keep on watching. Tamayomi episode 11 Well, just took down some notes Here's what's um, what you call this? Here's what's uh, good about this episode <clears throat> the, the, the other team is now starting to read them okay, Nababasa na ng Nababasa na ng kalaban yung mga Style nila Style of play And uh, Good thing uh, Yomi One of the lead characters Yung pitcher has just discovered her natural fastball kasi nakita ni nakita ni Tama yung kanyang catcher that's her nat, yung kanyang natural fastball and they started using that in the game <clears throat> now here's where the bad things start to happen sa tingin ko the other team is now starting to well they are the good thing about it okay, good things muna um uh, they're, they're, they're starting to counter-read the opponent. Okay? Nababasa sila ng kalaban, nababasa naman nila yung kalaban. Okay? So, <clears throat> uh, it has become a uh, battle of wits, so to speak. Now, here comes, and then here comes the, um, probably, um, Yomi's main rival, si Nakata. Okay? Uh, kababaing tao, malakas po malo. Alright? <clears throat> she was, uh, she was hitting all of Yomi's pitches. Yung pala, ang hinihintay niya, yung natural fastball ni Yomi. Yun ang natamaan niya. It resulted in a home run. Okay? It resulted in a home run. So, napaangan na lang si Tama and she said that so this is a natural nationals level bat nationals level batter. Okay, so dun tapos yung episode. Now I couldn't get over the uh, how they uh, how they mixed uh, traditional with digital animation. Uh, the fast sequences were done digitally. Parang Parang hindi pino eh. Okay, parang hindi pino. No, I, I don't know. I'm not a, uh, <clears throat> I'm not a, uh, I'm not a graphics artist. So what do I know? Pero yun ang yun lang observation ko. Yun ang observation ko. So yun nga. <clears throat> Medyo they should work on the, um, they should work on mixing the traditional and the digital animations. Kung para they should make it more seamless. Okay. Hindi pa ako ganun ka-convinced sa pag-mix nila ng digital at traditional animation. So, yeah, they should, uh, they should make it more convincing. Yung transition between tradi traditional and digital. But anyway, um, this episode introduced uh, Yomi's main rival. Siyempre, teacher siya. Her main rival should be a batter should be a wow should be a uh, one hell of a batter si Nakata okay it's just like it's just like major okay it's just like major uh, I think season 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 3 season 4 major okay kumaga yung main rival ni, ni Goro Shigeno e eh, Americano okay he's an American from from Team USA kasi naglaban sila sa world sa world championships so, parang ganito yun. But, babae. Okay. So, again, picture si Yomi. So, her main rival should be a batter from another, from another school. Yun nga, si Nakata. Okay. I would love to see this rivalry unfold. Magandang rivalry to. Magandang rivalry to. Okay. I'm going to, um, I'm going to make Toto. <laughs> I'm going to watch out for that rivalry. So, let's see how the animators develop that, uh, develop that rivalry. Right. Let's see how uh, how Tama will uh, will guide her best friend into that uh, 
how to handle that rivalry, syempre. Uh, she's Yomi's primary catcher, syempre, mag-best friend sila. So, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see it. Overall, it's, uh, overall, it's, um, <clears throat> overall, it's good. Okay, episode 11 is good. Except for the, um, the transition between digital, digital, tradi traditional, and then back again. So, they should, they should work, they should work on that. Okay, they should work on, the animators should work on that. But overall, uh, episode 11 of Tamayomi is good. I am just done with um, Tower of God episode uh, 11. Episode 11 na ba yun? Let's check. I forgot na. Why, why does it always happen to Tower of God? Okay, episode 11 nga. Now, <clears throat> let's do the summary first. The plot thickens. Alright? So, <clears throat> kumbaga yung I think that was the um yung na meet ni Bam sa ano I think I think that was the one he met dun sa pinaka gate ng bottom ng tower where he first acquired the black march kumpara yun ng pinatumba niya dun sa malaking parang parang pati na eh ko ba si monster ba yun they met again at tinanong siya kung baka niya kukunin yung test yung admin test he gave the he gave that he gave that monster two reasons, which would be, which was, uh, which he told to Rachel later on in the episode. Pumayag. So it's up to the director now on what kind of test na ibibigay kay Bam at kay Rachel. Okay. So the underwater hot test. <clears throat> um, if they get spitted out by the, uh, what is the, the fish queen, they get spitted out by the by the fish queen onto dry land, they pass the test. If they get eaten, of course, sorry na lang kayo. You 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 feel the test. Pero ang uh, ang kaibahan nga lang nito, everyone else gets to help. Okay? So sila Kun, sila Rock, yung dalawang print, yung dalawang jihad princesses, and, uh, and, so, and other warriors na, na naging kaibigan ng Libam. So they decided to help them out. <clears throat> so they decided to um, so Kun laid out a plan and some people some some of the warriors will um, will help out in taking out the uh, the goblins the, uh, which is the uh, basta mga goblins ay mga may mga higanting mga higanting linta nila <laughs> so they were they were tasked to to take them out and some of them will, of course, stand watch. And some of them will, uh, well, some of them have actually encountered the most fearsome obstacle of them all. Yung talaga makakapigil sa plano nilang protectan sila Bam at Rachel. The bull. Okay? Which is controlled by number 67, yung retrieval unit. Okay? Yung, retri yung retrieval unit. So, nakialam ito. Okay? This number number sixty seven. Now, the retri retrieval unit. It's the main party pooper of the episode. Okay. Now, the first party poopers of the uh, of the whole series. Uh, they're somewhat close to their objective. Nan, malapit na sila dun eh, sa testing area. Pero ito yung main ito yung main party pooper sa episode na to. He was actually tasked to take out Anaak. Okay, yung fake na anak jahad. He was tasked to, to take her out. Now, unbeknownst to Bam and Rachel, this was all the, cha the chaos. The chaos was actually going on unbeknownst to Bam and Rachel. Wala silang alam, wala silang alam, alam na may, na may pagmamaning obra palang ginagawa rito. Okay? Na minam, na minamaning obra na yung mga ibang, may ibang gusto kumakit ng tower. Which are which are their friends. So that's all I can. That's how. That's that's all I can do to summarize the episode. The plot thickens, right? This is how good Tower of God is. Okay, considering 
this this um the the manga which came from Korea. Now Korean mangas are now called manhwa. Okay, manhwa. Okay. We all know Tower of God came from Korea. And considering na hindi gani sa Japan ito, this is that good an anime. Okay, the plot thickens, um, the lead characters, the, the lead character himself is uh, good hearted and unbeen unbeenos to most uh, of the politics and chaos going on. He still wants to climb the tower for Rachel. So, episode 11. You gotta watch. We'll have to watch episode 12 for what happens. Or what. Or what. How it's going, how the events of episode 11 will go down. Talagang, the plot tickets. You gotta watch Tower of God. Okay, right there, episode 10 is done. And wow. Okay, simply wow. Um, no. Na-encounter nila yung boss ng isang gang na talagang tarantado. Okay? Tarantado. Lahat sila tarantado pero itong ito hari nila eh. Si, si Madoka. Uh, he turns into a he turns into a devilish ape. Okay? Na-overpower niya yung mga bida. Okay? Found way to counter their style. Ngayon, uh, offered them, offered uh, the gang, offered their gang a way out. Uh, one of them, kailangan, meron silang isang sacrifice na isang member nila. Then, uh, ayan na silang umalis. Okay? So, the pol- so there's, uh, there's politics involved. Tuso rin eh. Tuso na tarantado pa. But, Claire has other plans. Okay. Dito, lumabas ang pagiging psychotic ni Claire. Alright? Meron sila kasing kasama na uh, has the ability to uh, to grow flowers. Meron siyang pina, meron siyang specific flower na pina, pina tubo doon sa kasama niya, sa kasama nila. It was oleander. Oleander is a beautiful flower, pero do not try burning it. Wag mo sisigain ang bulaklak na yan. Why? Kasi lason ang bulaklak na yon, right? It's been well, over the years. It's been used by. It's been used as poison. I think it's also been used as weed killer, as insecticide. All right. Toto ito. Here in this episode. Nagpatubo siya na napakaraming oleander sa isang paligid. Then, uh, it eventually became part of their escape plan. Sinunod niya ni Shuichi. Alright? Hanggang sa bumalot na sa area ng gubat na yun kung saan nandun yung gang ni Madoka. So, well, eventually, nalason ang gang ni Madoka until I think he was the only one left. And, yung nagiging camera ulo na kasama nila muntik pa silang ilaglag sa sali pa doon man, sa gang ni Madoka pero yung di ba lahat sila mayroon parang chocolate dito sa buhok ng leader so the moment he did that patay siya na na-choke siya okay. so that's that's the price that's the price you pay for betraying uh, for betraying your gang so now I don't know what happened to Matoka himself. He, he was trying to save uh, he was trying to save some of his uh, some of his gang members. Kasi alas na sila na nalangkap na yung ano eh, yung lason na dinulot ng usok. Okay, they were all they were already inhaling the smoke coming from those coming from the burning oleanders. So yeah. <laughs> Dito na patunayan how how sick Claire's mind is okay, how ruthless the female lead is. Okay, so let's see what let's see what will happen. Okay, and uh, in, as a conclusion, she realized that she's not really going to be able to do it. Who is also who is 
more ruthless than her and turns actually into a ghost yung nagiging demonyo siya talaga so yeah it's what makes Gleibnir a really good anime okay Claire showed in this episode how ruthless she can be okay kung gano siya katuso gano siya katarantada right and to think na bida siya okay sila ni Shuichi ang bida so it's it's a good episode <laughs> It's a good episode. Talagang with each episode, Claire continues to be a shocker. Okay? With, with how she thinks. Kung gano'n siya, gano'n katuso, gano'n katuso siya kung mag-isip. Okay? She's, I, probably she's one of the most ruthless female leads I have ever come across as an anime fan. So, let's see. Let's see in episode 11 next week. Alright? It's a good episode right now. It's, it's a good episode kasi dito talaga nakita yung yung pagiging tuso ni Claire yung pagiging psychotic niya yung pagiging ruthless niya so it's a good episode again galing ng Glide here.